out. Go out and play some sports. Stop watching television. Start eating healthy. You know, you're literally killing yourself. No, the answer is call a doctor and we'll give you a chemical weapon in the hallucinogen class that literally eats your brain cells. But it'll feel so good. We'll be right back with Dr. Ed Group. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. More breaking news on Russia straight ahead. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural process instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Ben Swan just arrived. He's going to be with us in the next hour We're talking about the future of media, what's happening in Russia, and so much more. Uh, they are announcing, ladies and gentlemen, sanctions right now, both economic and uh, travel uh, on visas. Uh, dealing with uh, the situation in Ukraine, very serious situation. Crimea Parliament votes to join Russia. Um, here's a new study out, Alzheimer's deaths, six times higher than previously thought. And that's in Reuters. It is exploding because all the heavy metals uh, and the toxins. You were starting to get there, Dr. Group. Um, we went to break talking about they're not discussing all the real chemical imbalance Prozac-type drugs in the water, estrogen mimickers in the water, in the plastics, in the printer ink, uh, just in everything. And that's why every metric shows we are a diseased population. Um, please continue. 
Well, yeah, create the disease by poisoning the air, the food, and the water, you know, spraying <laughs> pesticides, spraying heavy metals everywhere. You know, that's what causes the real chemical imbalance. If you get to the root cause of the things, which is what we should be looking at, it's not that you have chemical imbalances and you need antidepressants and you need antipsychotic drugs. It's Clean your life up and avoid drinking the toxic water and the toxic comp, eating the toxic food and the preservatives and avoid putting all those toxins in your system and clean your brain and clean your bloodstream. And then you won't have all these fits of, you know, rage or these depressive activities or anything else that they're claiming as mental disorders, which they can which they cannot prove to begin. And with. they're claiming normal human activity is mental illness now to expand their market and their social control, just like the Soviet Union used psychiatry and psychology as a tyranny. And I'm not saying everybody in it's bad. There's a lot of good people in it. It's just that the main driving force behind it is predatory. I mean, uh, 50, 60 years ago, they still went around, and if your kid was depressed, they'd stick an ice pick into their eye, you know, behind their eye, and uh, give them a lobotomy. And sure, Junior never complained again. He never talked again. So it's just incredibly oppressive what's going on. And now, under the DSM, they've got all these new disorders where not liking authority, not trusting the system is mentally ill. 374 different mental disorders right now in the DSM and, and in the 1930s. When the DSM started, it was only 34 mental disorders. So it's become a huge problem. And what's even scarier is the fact that they just came out with a DSM 0 to 3, which means they're from age 0 to 3, they're diagnosing, and I think there's like 12 or 15 mental uh, illnesses between the age of zero to three. How and they're teaching moms on the, on, the, on the hospital shows and stuff that it's like getting your kid a new suit of clothes or new shoes. It's fun to get a designation. It's fun to say something's wrong with your kids. And then like Munchausen by proxy, the moms then take them into the system and get them on the drugs or get them in the counseling. And then they're now heroes because they've got a special needs child who wasn't special needs, but will be once the mental health system's done with them. Well, first of all, they vaccinate the kid, which is going to cause all kinds of problems in the system. And then they feed them soy formulas and everything else. And they put all these toxins and chemicals in the in the babies. And, the, and then the babies have excessive crying or... Um, you know, rashes or showing signs of excessive sleep or something like that that they can label as a mental illness and put children on antipsychotics. Yeah, they get stomach aches when you feed them formula that's 70% sugar. I mean, when you read a formula deal, the high fructose corn syrup, all of it, and, and it's like a conspiracy theory that women are supposed to nurse babies. Right, it is a conspiracy theory. I mean, the sad news is if you're labeled with a mental illness from the time you're two years old, and that stays with you forever in your entire life. And it's not like you can get off of these drugs. It takes a year to wean somebody off an antidepressant or even a stimulant. Like I know that. somebody that's been on Paxil for 15 years, and it's ruined their life, in, in their words, to many extent. It's given them a disease where their skin's totally white, the same disease Michael Jackson had. Uh, they've got an autoimmune issue now, and the doctors admit it's the Paxil. Didn't tell them when they went on it. Uh, you say it would take a year. How would you get them off? Well, first of all, it, you know, each individual person has to be evaluated, you know, separately. Sure, you, you can't diagnose them, but what, what would you do on average? Well, you have to do what's called time contingent detoxification, which is slowly reduce their dose over a period of year. And at the same time, you want to give them natural substances like Tibetan rhodiola or lithium orotate or you know, something that's going to naturally work with their serotonin receptors in their head so they have an easy way of getting off. And at the same time, you're going to be educating that individual on what are the things they need to avoid. For example, fluoride. You know, fluoride is going to cause major problems in the, in the brain, in the thyroid gland. You know, putting them on iodine, you know, detoxifying their body because most people that are on psychotropic drugs are not just on one. They start with one and then they have problems sleeping or something and then they get put on sleep medications. Usually they're on six to nine different medications because one thing causes side effects, which leads to another thing, which leads to another. I saw thing. that the average foster child is on seven drugs. Seven different right. psychological drugs. That's right. And, you know, su suicidal thoughts, aggressiveness, non-motivation. I mean, how looking at society and looking at uh, you just trying to find somebody to work these days is so hard to get to get a good employee because everybody you interview, they did. They really not motivated to work anymore. And so this is affecting society as a whole because we don't have intelligent people and we don't have people that are working and people are losing their jobs actually the auto accidents that are happening people driving into the water uh 
small children. I mean, there's a whole list of children now that you can pull up online that were that committed suicide. These are healthy children, supposedly. They're seven years old. They're getting these screens in schools. They're being they're sent to their psychiatrist saying they're hyperactive or whatever. They're put on, you know, they ask them if they're if they're happy in school. They say no. They're put on antidepressants, and within seven days, the mom finds them hung and they're dead in their closet. I mean, and this is a serious And the insert thing. says it does it. And the insert actually says it's done it. Now, there's not one single case that's ever been documented of depression or ADD or ADHD or the, any of the 374 mental disorders in the DSM that's been cured, that's documented to be cured after all these years on antipsychotic drugs. Not one. Amazing. I want to pull up that Time Magazine article from two weeks ago. I think the headline was... Uh, toxins lowering IQ or brain damaging children in the U.S. And they admit fluoride's the main one in the water and admit the Harvard study. Now, that's a big deal. Why would Time Magazine say the biggest thing is fluoride, which we know acts as an adjuvant, according to brain surgeons and neurologists like Dr. Blaylock, so that it accelerates all the other drugs. There it is, children exposed to more brain arming chemicals than ever before. And the first one they mention, and they say causing ADHD is fluoride. Well, you got to remember, all these diseases, these mental illnesses are created. And here's how they do it, uh, even from the beginning of time. And you can research this online. They got together a group of psychiatrists in a room, a small room, and they presented these symptoms and presented these disorders, and they voted on them. No scientific evidence or anything. So if you create, if you create chemical imbalances in the brain by, what, what do children eat? High fructose corn syrup? excitotoxins, artificial dyes, colors, artificial sweeteners, all of You can't MSG. find chips without MSG excitotoxin. No. You can't find them without the uh, uh, aspartame, I mean, in the, in the gum. Right. I mean, look what Blaylock termed the, the, you know, came up with the term, excitotoxins, excitotoxins in the brain. Then add mercury. That's that. now medically accepted fact. Yes. Now add aluminum to that, add all the heavy metals to that. And you literally have a slew going on in your, in your brain. And all that's done by design to, because here's the thing, the beauty that the medical profession sees in mental illness is you, you know, it's not like cancer or any type of disease where you have to do all kinds of testing. They can prescribe you medications and keep you on medications from the time you're born pretty much all the way until you die just by you coming in and saying, I don't feel good, doctor, with no scientific evidence or anything, and they can put you on these medications. So it's a $330 billion uh, a year industry. And just like all drug dealers throughout history... They target the school ground, but now they're in the school running the counselors, running the nurses, getting the 10 and 11-year-olds that are anxious, you're supposed to be anxious when you're 10 or 11, on drugs. It's a total criminal takeover. 3,000 deaths a month uh, attributed to psychiatric drugs. 17 million children worldwide have been prescribed psychiatric drugs so dangerous that medicine regulates uh, regulate, regulates it in Europe and Australia and have issued warnings that antidepressants can cause suicide and hostility in children and adolescents. Now, by the way, I don't sell it, but people can get it without a prescription, but it, but it's hard to do because it's it's somewhat doctor controlled. Uh, but people that do have anxiety and things, I was looking up the studies when you told me about this two months ago, they're legion, not the type of uh, lithium that's like in El Paso. So they have the lowest level of suicide or whatever, but the type that's in a plant you were telling me, and I went and looked it up, it was true, is a miracle drug for depression, anger, problems. Explain this special type of lithium to people. I don't sell it. We probably should, but ju ju just explain to people about that. Right. I mean, and it's readily available. It's, and I've done a lot of work with the military. You know, I'm real close with the military. And military dating back, to, you know, for the late 1800s has been a testing ground and an experiment military personnel for uh, uh, psychotic or psychotropic drugs. So the military is a perfect way for pharmaceutical companies to experiment. And one of the things that we... That's how you actually get stuff approved. My dad's been in drug right. approval. You can only fast track through the Pentagon. Well, yeah, I mean, in the, in, the, in the studies, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. I mean, there really is no such thing as clinical trials because in order to do an accurate clinical trial, you would have to clone somebody, expose them to the same diet every day, expose them to the same exercise sure. program. I mean, it's impossible because all of our biochemistry is different. So that whole clinical trials in phase one, two, and three is nothing but fabricated uh, results. All the, the heads of the studies are paid by the pharmaceutical companies, and it's just a big scam anyway. But... 
Uh, lithium orotite is a natural form of lithium extracted from plants or, or erotic acid is actually added. It's not like the lithium carbonate that they give uh, schizophrenic patients or anything like that. It's a natural form of lithium to just kind of help balance out your brain waves. And it's a natural alternative for... Uh,